It was quite by accident that I discovered architecture. I registered for the course spontaneously, and bit by bit it grew on me, although I had known nothing about it before. Only by interacting with architecture did I comprehend its depth, and then I stayed with it. For us in Asia, the speed with which cities change is commensurate with the speedy transformation of the times. We can experience this change viscerally through the transformation of the cities. Because this change is taking place so quickly, there's a risk that the newly created cities will soon lose their utility value because they can't keep up, leaving urban planning as a short-lived event. Europe, however, has attained its historical heritage with an urban context. In this way, the cityscape remains untouched by the changes of our times. To use a timely metaphor, only the software is being continually updated. A chasm appears between the transformation of the epoch and the city as one experiences it. What I wanted to transport in the creation of this space was a kind of flexibility in architecture. Until now, flexibility was defined as a multi-purpose building. With Kite, I wanted the system that architects had come up with to disappear, conceal it from the users, so that they themselves could discover new modes of usage. It consists of these abstract columns. But they aren't simply columns, they also have a direction. These individual columns, with their small trajectories, create a completeness. You have to keep your eye on the whole. Even when you look at this small space, you have to maintain an overview. Of course, for this space, the columns in the direct vicinity are most relevant, but these two, or this column, the furthest away. And in this room too, the columns here, here, and here all play a role. Normally in the field of architecture, you would concentrate on a room like this and enlarge it. But you have to look at the entire building. The same goes for this section here. During construction, I constantly had to switch between small and large scale. I think you can see that I wanted to create a landscape-like architecture. What does that mean? Nature probably follows a clear system, but we as humans look at nature without really knowing the system. Perhaps the trees in the woods are ordered according to a particular plan. But even without this knowledge, you can still find a space in the woods, set up camp there, cook something, or light a fire. This was the inspiration for my design. Thank you.